The iconic monarch butterfly is fluttering closer to extinction tonight after scientists officially recognized it as an endangered species. There are a number of possibilities behind those dwindling numbers from the drought to logging and other forms of habitat destruction. Reporter Michelle Gili shows us some small changes we can make at home that might help. It's hard to believe that certain populations in the monarch butterfly, with their recognizable orange and black wings, could soon be extinct. I think it's frightening. But that's what experts are saying. If something isn't done to save these graceful insects, whose numbers in California are in steady decline. In uh, the 80s, we had over 10 million of them. And in 2021, when they did the count, there was only 2,000 of them. Today, the International Union for Conservation of Nature put the North American monarch on the endangered list, which is two steps away from extinction. Mostly because of the destruction of their overwintering habitat, which is in Mexico. And, you know, there's problems that they'll have making the trip um, into North America and then back down into Mexico at the end of the year. So they have, there's a lot of uh, things that they have to run in terms of gauntlets. And the milkweed problem is another key issue, according to horticulturist Sarah Smith at Rogers Gardens in Newport Beach. So this is a Sclepsia fascularis. So that's the botanical name. Saving the monarch is a high priority here. Educating people that there's a right and a wrong type of milkweed for the garden is key to not killing monarch butterflies. A microscopic little protozoa that is growing on the milkweed that is endangering them. So it's a, it's getting into their bodies and it's actually killing them. So it's a parasite essentially. And it's all because we have been planting the wrong kind of milkweed for so long. The prettier tropical milkweed sold in bright colors, orange, red, and yellow is a big no-no. Native milkweed with creamy white or pink flowers is the food of monarch butterflies, and it's what should be planted in California gardens. That was Michelle Gili reporting there. More than 100 organizations across the U.S. are now working together to try to preserve the monarch migration habitat.